Steve Powell had a little get together in Alpharetta this afternoon. Um, they, they, Lynn Wood, pacing across the stage, said, we're not going to vote for these machines, not using machines to vote. I mean, you know, we shouldn't go out and vote for um, uh, Senator Leffler and Purdue. And I find it interesting that somebody who's had a Democrat voting record since 2004 is out there telling Republicans not to vote in an election. We encourage all voters to vote in an election. Democrat, Republican, Independent, Green, Socialist, you know, Libertarian, whatever party you want to be, go out and exercise your vote. That's your right as an American. Another thing that um, uh, Sidney Powell then said was the algorithm absolutely switched votes in Georgia. Not true. We did, again, I'm going to remind everybody, we did a hand audit that human beings did. No machines were used. And in fact, somebody asked Lynn Wood and Sidney Powell, the hand audit said this, how, how do you know, how can your algorithm thing have worked? And they said, no, no, that wasn't a hand audit. They used the machines to count those. They lied to the people who are believing their face. It's this kind of lying and this kind of rhetoric that is continuing to inflame passions on the ground unnecessarily, and it's wrong. So with that, I want to go and just take any questions you all might have. Yes, sir. I mean, at, what happens is they, they put them into the election night reporting system, we look them over, then we upload them. So when we, when we launch this in about probably 20 minutes or so, you'll see those 132 or so will be on there immediately. And then as the counties continue to upload them throughout the evening, we will continue to upload them. Um, we'll probably send our employee who does that home. Uh, he had a very long night, night last night. Uh, and I hate, this is gonna seem like I'm just piling on at this point. Uh, he couldn't get out of here till 12:15 because for the special election district five, Fulton County had to send two employees out to find two memory cards they had left behind. <laughs> so again, we see the same kind of issues that come out on those things and it caused our staff to have to stay late. So we're trying to let them go home and get some rest and do some work remotely to do those final uploads. So it should be through the night. And if there's a couple of counties that lag, if they're tired, I'm, the work's getting done. It'll be done by tomorrow. They're all gonna meet the deadlines of recertifying by Friday. And then the state will meet its deadline of, refer, of recertifying by Friday afternoon. Then the governor will do the ascertainment and send the paperwork back up to DC. I, I, here's the thing, I, I can't make the case. There's, there's one particular county that's always last. I don't have to say it. You know I don't have to say it, but there's always gonna be one. So what else we got? Yeah. I, I do not have that number. It would be kept at the county level. I don't think we have a, a generalized report for that, but it's probably a good thing we'll probably have to get. <sighs> what else we got? All right. These things are getting shorter and shorter. I like it, but I appreciate it. Sorry I didn't have as much bomb bombast today, but I'm kind of happy I didn't have to. You know, Justin from WSB asked about that earlier, and frankly, I dropped off my radar screen because I'm on the legal team. My, again, I'll say the same, same thing I, I said before. We follow the law, the federal and state laws on the, when we do the list maintenance that is necessary to keep the voter rolls clean and protect the sanctity and security of the vote. Thanks.